Welcome or welcome back to the Power of Personal Branding and Manifestation podcast with your host. It's me, Malika, entrepreneur, content creator, and your girl to personal branding and manifestation. So for today's episode, I want to show you how you can start cultivating empowerment and build confidence for yourself. Okay, because this is something so vital in your life in your success because the more you feel empowered the more confidence you have and the more confidence you have the more success you have in your life because it literally goes together like they follow each other along right and so this is such like a good freaking juicy topic to dive into and uh, let's just go right into it also happy fall guys it is so freaking nice outside and uh, okay go grab your matcha go grab your drink go on your hot girl walk and let's get started the biggest thing that i can tell you with really wanting to empower yourself and building that confidence the number one thing that's going to do it for you is to get out of your comfort zone and try things that you would have never done like otherwise right because this just shows your brain that instead of you staying in that comfortable spot where you know where everything is you know what to do every you know how to do everything you are like already confident in everything when you start doing things that are uncomfortable that like really like feel like oh my god this is your first time doing this like this really makes you stretch out yourself like your confidence and the thing with taking you out of your comfort zone is that your confidence has to follow along and so as you do that this is going to tell your brain like oh hey like actually i did this i didn't die so i can actually do this like i am capable of doing this and that feels so empowering that feels like it gives you so much confidence and for me for example okay i am going to speak in front of a team for a training and i have never done that before but i am so so excited and this is something definitely new for me this is something that I have never done before but it is so freaking exciting and I know that I'm going to get another kind of confidence by doing that and that's why I am so excited to be doing it right and so just things like that like obviously like you can feel nervous obviously you can feel all these things but you can't let that stop you because the more you get out of your comfort zone the more you empower yourself okay it's the same thing if you go into a frozen freaking like pool and then you're like oh my god i actually did this you're like wow like i'm so awesome right and it's the same thing that we want to recreate on a daily basis and this is like going to empower you tremendously and now you can listen to this and be like yeah okay it's all good get out of my comfort zone but it's another thing to listen and to actually be consciously applying it right because you need to be very conscious about this and think like okay like actually what is something that like i wouldn't usually do that's like i don't have confidence in that yet right because there's so much power to be willing to do something in which you have no uh either you you have like you're just starting out right or or like you have no idea what you're doing but like as you go along the way that's the the beautiful thing about going out of your comfort zone is that this starts to build a new kind of confidence on top of the confidence that you already have all right and building your confidence is just like a muscle okay so for me for example like i used to think oh my god like i'm already so confident so like i i don't know i just thought that i was already confident and i didn't realize that like you can always build on top of your confidence like you're never like this like fully like top confidence person and you can't get more confident and this is what made me realize that like i was still in my comfort zone because i felt so confident and i felt like i was always like 
yes, like I'm at the top of my confidence that I can be, but that just indicates that like you are comfortable, like you are comfortable and maybe you need to stretch out a bit more, you know, because like then you're going to be this new kind of confident and that is going to be your new normal right but when you are in it and when you are just being comfortable you're just like oh yeah like there's nothing else i can do like i'm just comfortable here right and you don't even realize and that's something that i realize about myself right and something else that i want to bring up is being able to work on your triggers okay because you know we all have deep wounds or we have triggers you know they're like triggers are basically triggered by like some wounds some like emotional stuff that we have around these things or sometimes it can be people around us that like trigger us that it's like a family member someone close to you someone that knows you someone that knows how to push your button sometimes even um and it's so important to be able to first of all be aware of what your triggers are and second of all be able to do something about it because the more you work through your your triggers the more you are able to heal yourself and your triggers are basically just like a little like button light flashing telling you like hey like this is not healed hey this is hurting hey 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 right and it won't go away until you start healing it consciously and um the more you start doing that the more you feel empowered because you are basically taking back your power because triggers often comes through other people through experience that we go with right so that we go through like during your day during your life whatever right they're not like they're they're things that we feel internally but they are triggered by external factors and what that means is that you are giving kind of like your power away to these other people that are triggering you because you are letting it affect you okay and so when you start looking at like what triggers me like what makes me feel hurt what makes me feel like upset and it's like a recurring thing because i have a wound like like attached to this right and so that's what you need to start looking at in order to be able to heal it and the more you heal it the more you are going to find yourself feeling so much more empowered because of the fact that you are becoming whole. Like you are taking back what is rightfully yours, which is, you know, putting yourself into this place of, of place of peace, of being really in, in your power of really being in the right attitude and the right mindset being able to soothe yourself being able to really uh attend to your own needs without letting other people triggering you and that is so freaking empowering and you get a different kind of confidence when you are able to do that the thing that you will start realizing is that the more you work through your triggers the more you will start seeing other ones come up that you maybe didn't even realize were there and that's also the beautiful thing about it because even though it is uncomfortable it is hard right we are getting out of our comfort zone because we're used to reacting a certain way or feeling a certain way when we're triggered but you are getting out of your comfort zone and you're breaking that cycle and this immediately like just gives you another kind of confidence because you're like hey like actually i'm putting the work in this i'm i'm doing like so amazing at working like on this trigger to heal it because i want to be a better version of myself and that feels so amazing even if like it takes time it's not an overnight thing obviously i don't want you to get the idea of like oh my god i know what it is and i'm gonna work through it like so easily or whatever right so super important to know about now the next thing that i want to touch on is being a woman of your word okay this is so important because when you hold your word and you're like okay 
this is what I want to do, right? Or this is what I'm going to accomplish or this is what I'm going to do. It can be like something really big. It can be something really small. It could be like, okay, today I'm actually going to do my laundry and um, I'm going to finish this project that I'm working on. Or, oh, uh, today, I this month, I'm literally going to make uh, like, I'm going to make this X amount of money in my business, okay? So having these things that you say you're going to do and you actually follow through it gives you confidence in yourself because you start trusting yourself and you start like realizing that like oh hey when i say i'm going to accomplish something or when i say i'm going to do something it actually happens and so when you start thinking of doing bigger things of accomplishing bigger goals bigger things you can actually have that trust to know that it will happen because you will make it happen because you know that you are a woman of your word. And so this is so important to be able to practice and, you know, not putting too much stuff on your plate because I used to be like that. I used to be like, oh my God, today I'm going to get this, 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 this done. And then it wouldn't happen because I would put too much stuff on my plate. And then that would make me kind of like mistrust myself. And then that would like reflect in like all the aspects of my life, including my business. Because I started like uh, losing that trust in myself. And so the more you put up those expectations for yourself and you reach them and you hold the word that you say you're going to do, the more it gives you trust and the more you'll realize like, hey, like actually... I can do this, you know, and that gives you so much confidence. And the next thing I want to talk about is having self gratitude and also life gratitude, because in order to feel empowered, you know, within yourself and also like within your life, the life that you are currently living, you need to be able to feel empowered within this present moment right and not expect that like by having something or having different circumstances then you will feel more empowered right or then you will feel more confident because you need to feel empowered and confident with what you already have and a great way to do so is to practice that self-gratitude and the life gratitude and what i mean by self-gratitude is basically being your own grateful boss okay because let's say you are doing something and you're like oh i could have done more i could have done this like i only did this and imagine you had a boss that like you you showed at the end of the day you're like oh hey this is what i did for my work today that whatever and then the boss is like that's all you did like oh my god like that's all you did like you could have done more you could have done this could have done that and every single day that's what the boss tell you one point you're gonna quit your job you're gonna be like fuck you you know and so this is like what i mean like you need to be able to be your own grateful boss because when you start being grateful for yourself you start wanting to do more things for yourself because you were like we are on the same team like you know my mind and me are on the same team and that's what you want right And so you really need to be grateful for the things that you do, for how you currently are, for the things that you can already do, the things that you already have, the things that you are already accomplishing, the way that you are, right? And for life gratitude, it's really about being grateful for stuff that you have in your life. Maybe there's stuff that like you were really, really good at. Uh, You know, maybe there's an area in your life that you're really good at that it's like making friends like you're with your family Uh, Maybe it's with your finance. Maybe it's with being organized. Maybe it's with uh, filming content being on time It can be so many things. It can be so many things Okay, but really practicing that self-gratitude and that life gratitude Empowers you because you start realizing like hey, like I can feel empowered in this very moment. And then this gives you the strength. This gives you the the aura that you need in order to feel even more empowered to accomplish and do more and feel more confident in yourself. Which also brings me to my next point, which is being delusional with your goal. Okay. 
And what I mean by that is like literally be del- be delusional, okay? Because like I want you to accomplish the biggest thing ever and I want you to stop thinking small. Because when you think small, that just means that you think not a lot of yourself. Okay? And that's not empowering. That's not giving confidence. That's not giving anything that we want, okay? And so I don't want you to be like, "Oh, this is just my small business. This is just like this is just like my little goal that I have." Like, no. What is the big delusional goal? That's what I want to hear about. I want to hear the big huge delusional goal that makes you literally shit your pants. That's what I want to hear about. Okay, because that is what you need in order to expand yourself, feel more empowered and be like, "Hey, actually, you know what? I am a woman, a woman of my word." And so if I'm setting this goal that is so freaking nice, well, obviously it's going to happen. Okay? So, super super important, okay? Be delusional because you are actually not delusional for being delusional because you're not delusional. I hope that makes sense. Okay. Now, this one is so freaking vital. It is so vital if you do want to empower yourself, if you do actually want to build that confidence, okay? And it is that you need to stop criticizing yourself. And you need to stop saying like bad things about yourself or criticizing yourself or talking to yourself in a negative way and this includes being criticizing yourself or blaming yourself or uh saying things that like are not like nice and gentle to yourself right like you need to be patient you need to have compassion and you need to be kind and if you do think of something that is not within those lines you don't say it you don't say it and this needs to become a habit for you because self talk and inner self talk is really a habit and it's not something that we are born with it's something that we are thought uh through you know a young age and some people like have had a really bad self thought when they were kids and now they still do and uh some people like not right and so this is a habit this is something like you need to catch on and some people it might not be straight up insult it it could just look like oh like why did i do this i'm so stupid why did i do this I'm, like i hear this a lot oh why did i do this i'm so stupid oh, i'm so dumb for doing this you are not you are not and you need to really catch yourself in these moments because hey oh you made a mistake like oh it's just a normal thing like who taught you that you had to be stupid in order to make a mistake like that is a thought behavior like that is not something that you were born with like you weren't born making a mistake and thinking that you were dumb you you were born making a mistake and learning from that mistake but then something came along the line to mess up your view on it and This is really where you need to start building the habit to really be kind to yourself, to really be there for yourself so that you can grow that confidence because you really need it, okay? And this is why it is so important to be self-aware. You need to have self-awareness in order to feel empowered because when you know, okay, where you need to improve, what you need to stop doing, uh the belief even system that you have that like let's say is not benefiting you, let's say you think you have a limit to what you can achieve, you don't believe in like good things that like benefit you. This is the goal with self-awareness. It's like, okay, like you know this. You know this, you realize this. Okay, now let's change it so that you can actually have something that empowers you. And this is the same thing for the story that you tell yourself because everybody has a story. Okay? And I didn't really grasp this concept at first when I was like younger. And this is really what it means to have a story is basically like the inner dialogue that you have when you think of like your life right now or the life that you've had or your circumstances. 
and most of the time people use their stories for excuses to why they can't reach a certain goal or why they can't do a certain things or because other people have expectation of them so they don't want to let them down right well you get to pick your story you don't like the story that you're in you are the main character like sh- change the fucking story there is nothing keeping you from keeping that story if you're really fed up with that story change it because when you change the story you change expectations you change the way people perceive you and this will only happens once you change the story but if you never change it people can't change their expectation of you either they can't catch up with the version of you that you want to be okay and finally more empowerment comes to you when you start believing in yourself way more okay this like just says without saying right like the more you start believing in yourself the more like confidence you will get and so this is the importance of like being a woman of your word because it builds trust it makes you achieve bigger things and it makes you believe in what you want to achieve and therefore it makes you believe in yourself now i really hope that you took so much value from this episode i really wanted to touch on this subject now if you feel like this would help someone that you know a friend definitely send it to them and if you are tuning into the podcast take a screenshot post it on your story and tag me i love to see who's tuning in and as always stay amazing i'll see you here next week same time Thanks so much for tuning in and don't forget to leave your five star rate and review on the podcast. I love to know what you guys think of the episodes and I will meet you here next week.